Well, the latest entry in the Blade Runner series is headed to HBO Max this month. Cyber policeman Cody Stark standing by with one of the composers of the show to learn more about creating the soundtrack. Oh, yeah, yeah. And not just a soundtrack, a great soundtrack. Ooh. Michael Hodges joining us right now. Michael, how are you, sir? Good, how are you? Doing good, man. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, I used to work here at the station, Kenny, uh, made this movie called, um, uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, Score. Score. Score, and it was all about the people that score movies and, and TV shows and everything. And I have been fascinated by this ever since because it makes such a big difference when you're watching a TV show if it's scored properly and stuff. So how did you get into this business, man? I started at about 18 years old. I graduated from high school, went on the road touring and doing all of that in the music business. And um, honestly ended up here I'm not really sure how I ended up here. <laughs> I, I was the right place, the right time, and, and very blessed to be to be sitting here. So started a new company a few years back, about seven years ago, with Ken Calais and Kayla Morrison. Ken produced Sleetwood Mac and and the Rumors album. And wow. um, and we started doing music for uh, film and television, had this idea and uh, Partnered with some really great film companies, and here we are. Now, the the Black Lotus, the uh, the, the thing that you were, we want to talk to you about this, the Blade Runner thing. Uh, I really enjoyed. I love all things Blade Runner, but one thing that stuck out with me when I was watching it when it first came out was the soundtrack. And and did you get access to footage and stuff like that before, or was it at the very end when you came involved? Actually, we started on this project before there was a frame of animation. Done really? So, yeah, we had the scripts for this. I mean, this has been going on for years, actually. And so um, it was really helpful to get immersed into the show and what was going to happen. It's it's a beautiful story that they've told, and, and uh, it was just exciting to work on it. Is that the way it normally works, or is that, is that different? Normally it's not that way. Normally you get it at the end and you see everything and try to try to play catch up. But we're partners with the film companies that did the show, so we had a little better access to it. And we actually did the music for this, but we did the sound design, uh, all the sound effects. We wrote the original end title songs from the series with all of the artists on there. Uh, produced the album, all of that. So we got to really be involved. That is uh, really cool. Uh, impress the folks at home with some more stuff that you've scored. Uh, well, we've done, we're really known for doing end title songs. So we've done, we've worked on, we produced the Blade Runner 2049 album. We worked on the Point Break album. Uh, gosh, there's a lot of stuff. We've done some kids stuff. We did a, a show called Pete the Cat for Amazon. Um, it's all over the map. We're actually working on the new Garfield movie with Chris oh, Pratt. Fun. Oh, really? That's so cool. Yeah. Now, yeah. with the, the Chris Pratt movie, would that be a, a last minute kind of thing? Like they get done with the movie and they go, here you go, Michael, go, create, we actually, quick. We actually started writing the songs already. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, we wrote one of the songs in the in the movie already. So it's... Sometimes it's early, sometimes it's at the end. Uh, this is, while they're making the movie, sometimes you have to create songs that go in the film, uh, that go along with the dialogue of the film. So this that happened in the Garfield movie, and there'll be some more songs at the end that we do as well. I find it absolutely fascinating. And seriously, your work on this, this Blade Runner thing, it's gonna be on HBO Max, uh, it, it, yeah. so we can see the whole series again, right? That's right, it comes out March 14th, and going to be there for everybody to see. We're looking forward to that. It's uh, linear television runs are sometimes pretty quick, so you want to be able to have it somewhere people can go and find it. Yeah, it's fantastic. A really great show. Fantastic. Thank you, Michael, for joining us. And seriously, it's fascinating what you do for a living.